Peace, brothers and sisters. How y'all do? We're gonna do January to right now empties. <laughs> um, I'm very low energy today, so that's full disclosure. Drink your water. Here's your reminder. Okay, let me get the stuff. Okay. I really like this scent, The Perfect Christmas. And I think this was the one that I was telling you all that I wish I had gotten the spray of candle, whatever. Um, so it's fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallow. I believe I finished one and I still have one right now in the living room plugged in. I'm trying to get this in the plastic bag and it's not working because it's sticky. Okay. I forgot to put like those little labels at the bottom of the bag so they like sticking the bag closed. Um, Nariva Plus. This is pretty expensive. I try my best to coupon it, get rebates, whatever I can, um, getting on Amazon, whichever works at the moment. Um, so this is for focus, concentration, blah, blah, blah. It has folate, B6, B12. Um, I basically take this to combat the foggy feeling of antidepressants. Um, not being focused or not having my memory is not something I'm used to or something I would like to have a habit so there's that um hold on okay I need to put the TV down um so I got this recently during the semi-annual sale and I use it off because I'm not the biggest fan of it and this was a little like ornament looking winter candy apple scent um it goes really well with any type of berry bath um products if you look on my tiktok you'll see a um berry good routine it went great with that but by itself i'm not into it um but it went well with that so if i was to purchase it again next winter because i think i've seen this scent before um i would just purchase it to go with berry things um so for that i feel like well it depends on when you like berry but i was saying like that could even be used in the summer really it, it's your mood basically winter things have to be used during the winter um but yeah this I only, I only had bought one um but yeah by itself no um i probably would get a bubble bath of it again to use it like a berry type epsom salt or something like that but i wouldn't get like winter candy apple in a fragrance mist or anything it's not really um my cup of tea as a scent by itself um the black elderberry gummies trying to keep up with this i haven't taken them completely consistently but trying to stay on that um black elderberry like i've said before this is one of my favorite dr teal scents um, I didn't buy it again this go-round 
Oh, you can't sell it in this because um, I reused the bottle for <laughs> something. <laughs> I was doing some um, swiffering the other day and I didn't want to like walk around with a mop because sometimes I can't really carry anything heavy. So I had put some like pine saw and water in that. <laughs> And then I would just sprinkle it on the floor as I cleaned. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, this don't smell like berry. That's because I used that for that. I did finish a spray. Frosted cranberry. Definitely a classic. I will purchase this again next winter. Yeah, just a pure sweet cranberry scent. I use this at any time, really, um, but it's only available during the winter. The Rael heating patch for menstrual cramps or any type of stomach cramps, really. Um, it doesn't stay sticked, stuck. It doesn't stay on. So, no, I do not recommend it. Um, it gets warm, but not enough to be, like, seriously soothing. And it's very small. Did I? No, I didn't keep an empty patch. I should have kept an empty patch to show you all the size of the thing. Yeah. I like that um, the ingredients are small. Um, see the ingredients on it but it needs some work it's not it, it, it's a good try but it's not for me I have finished off um, Oh, I think I finally got rid of this out of my gym bag. I was confused because I've been using... Well, I started using a different deodorant currently. But before that, I was using the white one. So I'm like, why do I have a green one? But yeah, I got that out of my gym bag. I had finished that at the gym. Finished the candle. Um... This one usually burns out more. I did also use it on the warmer. This is the spiced apple toddy. I think this is the one that didn't really have any boozy smell to it. It was more so like apple cinnamon, really. So it wasn't anything special, but it wasn't giving what it was promising um yeah i finished a shea butter the nature from nature's beauty bar the unscented whip shea butter i can only really use this if my skin is like dry i can't use this out of the shower so i, I use this up at night um I do really like the company, Nature's Beauty Bar, with an eye. Um, so I will get more products from them, but not Shea Butter, because I have another one by, I think, Cantu or something. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a good consistency. This one was unscented, I think. <laughs> Old Shea Butter. Doesn't smell good. Yeah. Never mind, moving on. I finished two of these. The Arnicare Roll On. As I tell you all, I use it for my cyst pain or any swelling of the stomach or um, any aches. Otherwise, it's a nice natural alternative that doesn't interact with any other medication. I have a couple of plugins here. I'm 
don't think that's it. I'm about finished with this. I have one more use. I'll just show you now. And that's the Bella Skin Watermelon Probiotic Underarm Toner. So if you use natural deodorant and you um, don't feel like it's doing what it's supposed to do or like it only works for a couple of hours and you need it to work longer, I would definitely recommend that. Um, once again, it's Bella Skin. <sighs> that has become a staple for me. Um, we're back to the struggle of trying to find the names of these joints. Uh, I don't know, child. I'm gonna just start writing them with a black marker and save myself the freaking trouble. Clean Slate by Bath and Body Works. Really, really like this one. Um, it's a very unisex type of scent. Um, gives more like a cologne type of vibe. Clean Musk. I would say so I would repurchase that um, what the hell I think I spilled some on me which is not good because I have very sensitive skin um, Chris Fall yeah I like this I don't remember how it fared in the in a room though but I like this scent overall. Kind of smells like apple and leaves. And this one's from Earwick. I don't think this is out anymore though. Um, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This one's a favorite. Um, this is a fall scent though. Oh, I kept the label. This one was awesome. So, so good. Um... It's kind of like pumpkin pie. I loved it. I wish I had bought like 10. Um, I don't know what this is at all. Yeah, I have no clue. Mm, give me a minute. I'm not remembering what this was. I think this is one of the laundry ones. And then I poured it out into, cause some of it spilled. And I poured it out into, um, I think one of the empty Febreze plugins when I was it, um, changing out all my plugs. <laughs> but I don't remember which one. The words have faded out. But it's one of the first scent ones. This one smells like gain. If I remember which one it is, I'll leave it in the um the description. But that's pretty much it. And other than that, I finished a lot of my meds. Yeah, so still working on using body sprays. I don't feel like I'm making a dent at all. And I'm spraying them. I'm really spraying them. I guess that's good because you don't want to like have bought something and then all of a sudden it's going like that. My mother could really use out some scents, yo. But. I really kissed that um, plug-in. I gotta wash my face or something. I just made out with a plug-in. I am not that hard up. That was an accident. <laughs> that really is like detergent though. Hold on, I think I have two of them. All right, I came back with the tea. It's morning laundry, because I remember it was a very deep blue. Cop that. Um, yeah, I'm very close on some things, but not...
completely. Um, for March or like the last, I don't know how everything is going to go. So I would say later on this month or early March is when I'll start doing more makeup type of stuff because I like to use what I have. I don't want to have to throw out anything. That's my grandfather. Um, so yeah, we're going to have makeup talks and things like that. So that's what I'm going to be bringing here soon. It's been a minute, so I'm a little rusty, I think. But that's what's in the agenda. I thank you for watching. Later.